A cataract is a condition which causes clouding of lens in the eye, resulting in blurry vision. The lens is situated behind the iris, the dark portion of the eye, and is not visible. When a cataract occurs, the lens becomes cloudy and is seen as a white, cloudy ball in the center of the iris. The lens is made up of mostly water and proteins. These specific proteins provide its transparent structure. Any structural change in these proteins can alter the clarity of the lens and negatively impact vision. There are three types of cataracts classified according to their location in the eye. Nuclear cataract is when the cloudiness is present in the center of the lens. With cortical cataract, the cloudiness is seen in the outer peripheral region or cortical region of the lens. Subcapsular cataract occurs at the back of the lens capsule or subcapsular region. This type develops quicker and can appear more suddenly than the nuclear and cortical cataract. Cataracts are also classified according to the cause, either as age-related cataract, congenital cataract, secondary cataract, or traumatic cataract. A cataract can occur due to many reasons. Age. As people age, changes can occur in the structure of the lens protein leading to cataract. Congenital causes. Cataract can occur in newborns as inherited disorder or can develop in infants because of infections in mother during pregnancy such as rubella, herpes simplex, and syphilis. Secondary causes. Cataract can form as a complication of other diseases such as glaucoma and diabetes, prolonged use of corticosteroid inhalers and eye drops increase the risk of cataract. Trauma. Certain injuries may result in formation of a cataract. Cataract may also develop years after the injury. Other causes include excessive exposure of the eyes to UV rays, X-rays, and other radiation during radiotherapy. Cataracts usually develop very slowly and are not associated with any pain or redness of the eye. Your vision gradually becomes blurred as if you are looking through the dirty lens of a camera. Some patients may see a halo around bright lights. Others find the glare from the sun and headlights of approaching cars at night annoying. Some patients present with double vision in one of the eyes and the colors appear dull or muted. In others, frequent prescription changes for glasses or contact lenses may become necessary. To assess the impact of cataract on your vision, your doctor will perform a visual acuity test where the patient reads an eye chart from particular distance with one eye at a time. The doctor then examines the cornea, iris, and lens individually using an intense ray of light from a slit lamp to detect any abnormalities. For the retinal exam, eye drops are added to dilate the eye and the retina is examined for any abnormalities using an ophthalmoscope. Once a cataract develops, it cannot be cured by eye drops or medication. Patients with mild cataracts may be helped by using strong bifocal glasses and using appropriate light while reading. Surgery is the only treatment for cataract. 
and is recommended based on the severity of the disease and the impact on daily activities of the patient. The patient usually makes the decision to have surgery when the symptoms negatively impact their lifestyle. Surgery is performed on one eye at a time. With a few weeks gap in between the two operations, cataract surgery is done on an outpatient basis where the patient can go home the same day. The eye and area around the eye is numbed using local anesthesia. The cloudy lens is removed and replaced with a clear plastic lens in the same lens capsule as the natural lens. There are three types of surgical procedures to treat cataract. The most common procedure used is FACO emulsification where your surgeon uses an ultrasound probe to break up the lens which is then removed by suction. The advantage is that the incision is very small around 3 to 5 millimeters depending on the choice of lens foldable or non-foldable. The incision heals on its own and does not require any eye patch or stitches. This surgery takes less than 30 minutes. The second type of surgery is extracapsular cataract surgery. This is performed when the lens is too dense and cannot be removed by FACO emulsification. The incision is larger as the complete lens is removed as a single piece. The healing process for this type of surgery is longer and requires an eye patch temporarily over the eye after surgery. Intracapsular cataract surgery is rarely performed and only in cases of severe trauma to the eye. The incision is even larger than in extracapsular surgery. The whole lens is removed along with the lens capsule. The clear plastic lens is then placed in front of the iris rather than in the capsule. The intraocular plastic lens used in this type of surgery is chosen to provide the patient with best possible correction. Three types of intraocular plastic lenses, monofocal, toric and multifocal lenses are used. Following surgery, your doctor will prescribe eye drops to prevent infection and inflammation. A follow-up visit is scheduled to monitor healing and to check for any complications from surgery. Once complete healing occurs, glasses are ordered for optimal vision, if required depending on the type of intraocular lens inserted in the eye by your surgeon. Cataract surgery is one of the safest surgeries to undergo. Complications are rare, but can occur and need to be addressed as soon as possible to prevent any vision loss. Complications can include persistent inflammation, infection, increase in intraocular pressure, or peeling of the retina at the back of the eye. In rare cases, the cataract seems to reappear after a few months or years following surgery with a cloudy appearance in the field of vision. This occurs due to cloudiness of the capsule and not the implanted plastic lens. It is called a secondary cataract and can be treated by a simple laser surgery to create a hole in the lens capsule where the cloudiness is visible. Cataracts may be prevented by maintaining a healthy lifestyle. Fruits and vegetables are a good natural source of vitamins and antioxidants important in the normal growth functioning and prevention of age-related damage to the eye lens. A diet rich in fruits and vegetables can help prevent cataracts. Not smoking or quitting if you do smoke lowers your risk 
of developing cataracts. Regular exercise and maintaining a healthy body weight also helps to prevent cataracts. Increased triglycerides are a risk factor for cataract. Keeping blood levels of triglycerides under control through diet restrictions helps in preventing cataracts. Diabetes greatly increases the risk of developing a cataract. Diabetics should check and control blood sugar levels regularly. Wearing sunglasses with UV protection when outside protects the eyes from damage by the sun's harmful UV rays. Cataracts are a slow developing disease which normally does not get detected early. Regular eye exams by an eye specialist can help in early detection of the disease.